Hello student, today in my fourth lecture, I am again going to discuss the second part of KMAP. In the last lecture, I will just give you the basic idea how to convert a truth table into KMAP. As well as we have discussed certain rules for the KMAP. Again, we are going to discuss all the seven rules. Rule number one, enter one on the K-map for each fundamental product whose output is high. When the output is high, you have to find out the fundamental product and appropriate entry into K-map. Number two, ignore all the zeros no need to find out the fundamental product number three n circle octet octet means group of eight ones quad group of four ones and pair group of two ones today we are going to discuss this point number four use the property of rolling overlapping and prepare the largest group number five if any isolated one remains encircle it and then six point eliminate any unwanted redundant group and then write down the boolean equation okay so today we are going to discuss point number three property of pair quad and octet okay pair means group of two ones it is a group of two ones it may be horizontally or vertically adjacent. I am going to explain it into the K-map. But remember, it is a group of two ones, either horizontally or vertically. That is point number one. And point number two, pair eliminate one variable and its complement. How it cancel one variable and complement that we will discuss in the example. Two points, it is a group of two ones, either horizontal or vertical and second, it eliminate or cancel one variable and its complements. Okay, so example number one. E bar, B bar. A bar B, A B, A B bar, C bar D bar, C bar D, C D and C D bar. So standard format of K map. Now suppose
this is a design of your kmap this two entries are high remaining 14 are low okay now it is a group of two ones either it is horizontal or vertical adjacent so this is horizontal adjacent now you have to encircle it this you have to encircle this and then your output y equals to now look at here this is a bar b a bar b now here concentrate c bar d c d so c and c bar cancel each other c and c bar cancel each other so y equals to a bar b d again a bar b c and c bar cancel each other so y equals to a bar b d so one variable and its complement eliminate that is c and c bar is cancelled okay now suppose assume that we don't know the property of pair and we are going to obtain the equation then your y is for this one a bar b c bar d plus a bar b c d you required 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 variables and the job is completed in 3 this is the advantage of property number 1 again group of two ones horizontal or vertical it eliminate one variable in its component complement sorry first case these two ones are horizontal a bar b c and c bar is cancelled and it is d okay second example that is for vertical So encircle to adjacent one. Now here A bar and A cancel each other. Only B is left. So B and for this part it is C D. So output is B C D. Again C D and here A bar cancel. So B C D. Clear? Third example. first group that is horizontal adjacent so encircle it second that is vertical now output y equals to a bar b bar c c bar cancel so d plus now b and b bar cancel so a c bar d again here we have two groups first a bar b bar 
C C bar cancel, so A bar B bar D. And for here, B and B bar cancel, so A C bar D. Okay, so this is about the pair. Pair means group of two ones, either horizontal or vertically. It is. It should be adjacent. So it eliminate one variable and its complement. Okay. Second one. that is quad it is a group of four ones not two but four ones it may be horizontally or vertically adjacent now here one more thing is there a square pattern is also allowed so horizontally or vertically adjacent as well as if it is in form square then also it is allowed. Quad eliminate variable and its complements it eliminate two variable and its complement let us discuss the first example example number one One particular case, your truth table is like, uh, your K map is like this. Now here, we have four ones in the horizontal adjacent position. So, what is the value of Y? C bar, C bar, C, C cancelled. C bar, C bar, C, C cancelled d bar d d d bar that is also cancelled so that means upper part is cancelled only the y is a bar b that's it y is a bar b clear hmm. four ones in the horizontal manner C bar, C bar, C, C, cancel, D bar, D, D, D bar, cancel. So, your output Y equals to only A bar, B. That's all. Second example. four ones in the vertical adjacent position so encircle it now your y a bar a bar a a cancel b bar b b b bar that is also cancel so y equals to c d bar simple a bar a bar a a cancel b bar b b b bar cancel so y equals to c d bar this is the vertical adjacent now third one that is in the form of square
suppose your kmap is given in this way this is a square now what is y this part a a bar cancel b, b so means b is here b is not cancel c bar c cancel and d the main so y equals to b d okay okay let's uh, discuss the fourth one one more example In this KMAP, 8 entries are high, 8 are zeros. This 4, vertically adjacent and this one is in the form of a square. Okay, so now find out why. This one and this one here a bar a bar a a cancel b bar b b b bar cancel so it is c d bar about this one a bar a cancel b c bar c bar so that is not cancelled but d bar d that part is over so it is b c bar so y equals to c d bar plus b c bar so in exam your k map is of any shape you have to properly apply the rule either it is for pair or for a quad now third one that is octet octet means it is a group of eight ones Octet. Octet means it is a group of eight ones. It may be horizontal or vertically adjacent, and octet eliminate three variable and its component. Okay, so let us discuss the first example. Suppose each ones are given in this manner. So we can say that it is horizontal adjacent and your group formation is like this now look at here this part c bar c bar c c c bar c bar c c cancel d bar d d d bar that is also cancelled so upper part cancelled this one b bar b cancel so y equals to only a bar 
this is the actual advantage of your key map here eight variables are high means you have to find out eight fundamental products okay so total in every one we have four cases so total 32 components exist and after simplification your answer is a bar so this will require one or two page mathematical calculation and then 32 component is converted into finally after all simplification it become a bar so extremely boring mathematics is required for this one so that is why this method is used in a fraction of second you can say that y equals to a bar okay second example eight ones in vertical adjacent eight ones in vertical adjacent example number two encircle it now a bar a bar a a cancel a bar two a bars and two a so cancel b bar b b b bar that is also cancelled d bar and d that is cancel each other so y equals to only c bar y equals to only c bar okay so we have discussed three properties pair quad and octet pair means group of two ones Quad means group of four ones and octet means group of eight ones. Three properties we have discussed in next lecture we are going to discuss another three properties. But today we are going to discuss few mixed sum in which properties of pair and quads are combined or pair and octet is combined okay so first example first mixed example now normally in the exam when you design a k map Your first step is to make a list of octet, quad, and pair. So, in your given K map, how many octet, how many quad and pair exist that you have to mention here? Okay. Suppose this kind of figure is given. Now carefully observe, is there any group of eight ones? Answer is no. So dash. Is there any group of four ones? Yes. It is horizontal adjacent so this one so mention one now pair answer is yes it is also here okay so 
always remember in exam first you have to write down this one okay, how many octet square or pair exist and then your y y equals to first about this one c bar c bar c c cancel d bar d d d bar cancel a d bar about this one c exist but d and d bar cancel so a bar b c a bar b and c clear so you have to place the number of octet squared and pair and then after you have to prepare the boolean equation okay let us discuss the second example So total 8 ones and 8 zeros exist. So first we have to find out the largest group. 8 ones are there in this figure. But neither they are horizontally adjacent or vertically adjacent. It is in random form. So octet nail. 4 ones, yes, vertically this group is possible. Okay, so 1 quad and first pair and second pair. So we have two pair. So in this figure, 8 ones are there, but octet is not possible. But we have one group of four ones and two group of a pair. So a quad and pair. And now your y. Y equals to what's about this one? A bar A bar A A cancel. B bar B B B bar that is also cancelled. Only C bar D is left for this one. Now here A bar B remains as it is and C remains as it is. D D bar cancel. So A bar B C and about this one A B bar and again d d bar cancel so a b bar c okay is that clear good now third example
Now in this figure, we have six high end, the remaining ten zeros. So this is zero. Yes, first group exists here, and the pair is here. So uh, we have uh, one quad and a pair. And your y equals to a bar a bar a a cancel b bar b b b bar cancel only c d bar plus b b bar cancel so a bar c bar d okay so Normally in exam, you have different combinations. Last one. Example number four. Total 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. 7 ones are high. So, this possibility is, doesn't exist. Yes. First group that is squared. Another group we have a pair and one is isolated so encircle it so in this particular one in this three sections octet 0 1 quad 1 pair and 1 isolated so your equation this part is c bar d because a bar a bar a a cancel b bar b b b bar cancel so only c bar d this part a, A, B bar, D, D bar cancel, so C. A, B bar, C. And the last one, that is this isolated, it is nothing is cancelled, so A bar, B, C, D bar. This is your Boolean equation. C bar, D plus a b bar c plus a bar b c d bar okay so today we have discussed three properties to simplify the k map quickly i will revise all the things First, we have discussed pair, pair means group of two ones, horizontally or vertically adjacent, okay. Second, that is squared. It is a group of four ones horizontally or vertically adjacent four ones either in horizontal or vertical form as well as if it is in form of square then it is allowed diagonal pattern is not allowed okay only three horizontal vertical or in form of square and third octet
इट इज अ ग्रुप ऑफ एट वंस अगेन हॉरिजोंटली और वर्टिकली ओके सो दिस थ्री प्रॉपर्टी वी हैव डिस्कस इन टू डेज लेक्चर इन द लास्ट लेक्चर द बेजिक प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ के मैप वी हैव स्टडीड केयरफुली प्रिपेयर दिस टू टॉपिक्स के मैप इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक एज फार एज टी वाई फिजिक्स सेम फाइव इज कंसर्न so carefully prepare last two lectures in next lecture i am going to discuss another three properties of k map and then actual simplification begin that three properties are rolling overlapping and finally removing unwanted groups and then your k map is finally prepared and then you have to go with the boolean equation or find out the simplest boolean equation okay so carefully prepare this next week we are going to discuss remaining three properties rolling overlapping and redundant group okay thank you